Hi guys, my name is Marina Lantos, one of the core team members for East Coast Salon Services, and today's haircut is going to be a French bob. Come on over. So today I'm going to start my haircut by putting in the perimeter, starting in the front on both sides, and then going from the perimeter right into the graduation. So French bob is a square shape, which means the length in the front is the same as it is in the back. I'm gonna hold my fingers parallel to the cutting line that I wanna achieve. So instead of holding my fingers or holding my comb and creating a line technique, I'm gonna go ahead and start graduation right from the line technique. So what does that mean? I'm gonna lift my fingers just a tiny bit. The elevation that I'm creating by using my fingers is going to give me a softer beveled edge of the line technique and it's going to give me a softer graduation overall. So I would like the overall length to be just below the lip. I think that would be really pretty on her. I'm gonna hold it parallel to the floor. Hold my fingers. And then my scissors are going to mirror my fingers and the cutting line that I'm trying to create. Now, if someone has a jumpy hairline, you wanna be very cautious here. Less tension and maybe create slightly longer length knowing that it's going to pop up. So now I'm gonna remember where this length is just below the lip and do the same thing on the opposite side to make sure that the balance is good. Because once I create those two guides on both sides, I can go ahead with the haircut without having to cross check if my balance is off. So elevation just on my middle finger, which is gonna give me just enough of elevation where my line technique is not going to be too blunt. It's gonna be a little more beveled. I'm gonna go with this length here. This looks just below the lip and really keeping in mind how I'm holding my fingers in comparison to her head shape. So if a client looks down at this point, right? So the client looks down and I'm holding my fingers parallel to the floor and then the client looks up, so will your cutting line. So you always wanna make sure that the head shape is in a natural position, which means the line that you are creating is going to be a natural line and the true length that it's going to be. Cross check for balance, make sure it's even. If it looks good, we can now continue on one side. So here is my line technique. I'm gonna take the next section parallel to the previous. Comb and clip that out of the way. I'm gonna go a little tiny bit higher with my elevation on my second section. So instead of holding it one finger, I'm now going to be about three fingers of height. Follow the guide that I have created underneath. Still keeping my fingers parallel to the floor. Check the cutting line, make sure it looks good. Now this is where I'm going to elevate even higher. So the point of graduation, right? Graduation is a buildup of weight where underneath is going to be shorter and hair is gradually getting longer. So the lower I keep my elevation, the heavier my shape is going to be, the heavier my bob is going to be. So I wanna gradually get higher and higher, but not too high where I'm removing the weight of the haircut. So I'm gonna be about here. Now this would be a really good thing um, to do to keep yourself in check on how your elevation is raising is paying attention to your surroundings. So I know my first one was about finger length, the second one was about three, and the third one I held it out here. So I paid attention to where I am in the mirror and I'm going to use that as an example for the second side, right? Because even though our cutting line is even and balanced from side to side, we now have to worry about elevation and elevation is what's going to create the shape that we're seeing in our bob. So with my third section, but this is my fourth section. I'm gonna go even higher, but careful not to elevate above where the hair grows on the head. 
So this top section here, if you can go right from the side, this top section here should always be on a diagonal below where it rows on the head. The minute you start elevating all the way up here, you're going to create a flatter shape, which is going to sit more like layers instead of graduation. So here's my section four. Now what's going to happen in this area is because the natural hairline is working against us, be really careful not to follow the guide that you're seeing underneath because this hair has longer distance to travel to get to your fingers. You wanna make sure that you're staying true to the cutting line, right? So here's my square cutting line. When this gets combed to my fingers, I'm gonna make sure that I continue going square. Now, if you accidentally round this off, when this falls, this is going to come up and it's going to look a little more rounded. For some people, that might work really well, but if it's not the look that you're going for, then that will be considered a mistake. So just be really careful. You know you're creating a square cutting line, so you wanna continue with going square shape between your fingers while elevating slightly higher with each section. Slightly higher paying attention to the guide underneath my section. Slightly higher with each individual section to build the weight on the heavier side. So why did I choose to start in the front and why did I choose to take horizontal sections? Normally when we do a graduation or we do a bob, the emphasis is always in the back. I find that with French bob, which is probably one of the most popular bobs of 2021, the emphasis is really where it falls around the face. So I decided to do the front because where the emphasis is, it's very important for me to create the shape that I wanna see around the face. And then the back is not as important. So I'm gonna work with creating a guide where is the most important part of the haircut? And why did I choose a horizontal section? Normally, when we take horizontal sections, we build more weight than a vertical or a diagonal section. So French bob is pretty heavy, doesn't have much movement. So by taking a horizontal section, I know I'm going to keep my graduation a bit more on a heavier side and less of a head hugging shape. So here's my overall shape. It's already starting to fall, my graduation. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side, but instead of having the view of how I'm holding my fingers, I'm gonna stand on the side so you guys can see my elevation for each section. So my first section was already done. My second section is going to be about three fingers of height. And Michaela, tell me if the angle is okay and you can see clearly. Yep. So here's my elevation on my second. I take the next section. Keeping my sections very clean, thick enough that I have control of the hair, yet thin enough that I can see through my section and see my guide clear. I'm over directing here directly towards me to make sure that I'm creating a square shape. Now, if your cutting line, right, and how you're holding your fingers is parallel to you and it's square, but you accidentally bring the hair towards the face, the back is going to be longer. So just be cautious of that. Elevation and over direction, where you bring hair and how you bring it is what's going to dictate your cutting line just as much as how you're holding your fingers. So a couple of things that we constantly have to pay attention to. And the best way to pay attention to, to those three key factors, your cutting line, your elevation, and your over direction, is to continue repeating that to yourself. So constantly tell yourself, okay, where should my elevation be? Where should my over direction be? Where should I be standing? 
And if you keep reminding yourself that it becomes a muscle memory, it becomes much easier to work that way. So the only reason why this looks easy and the reason why I can do this um, so quickly is because I do the same thing over and over and I always check myself. So at least remember where my elevation is, whether it's, you know, depending on where I'm bringing hair out in comparison to my surroundings. If I see, you know, if I have uh, stripes on my shirt or if I have buttons on my shirt, that's a good way to figure out where I brought my fingers uh, on, the, on the other side or my previous section. And kind of keeps things slightly less guesswork. Uh, and, and a little bit more secure. So I have two more sections. Now to cross the check this haircut, if cross check is what's going to tell you whether your elevation and your over direction and your overall length is equal on both sides, right? So that's what checks the balance of the haircut. So if I took a horizontal section you would cross check it going vertically, but keeping your elevation and your over direction the same for those sections. So once I finish with this last piece here, I wanna show you how I would cross check. Last section is gonna be here. Keeping my body position square So if I take a vertical section instead of horizontal, and I know my elevation was here, I should see a solid line that's going from shorter to gradually longer. Now, if you wanted this to be a slightly heavier bob, you don't have to elevate as high, and your cutting line or your cross-check line would be heavier here. So when, when you finish the haircut and you realize that your elevation was too high, what that means is how heavy does the bob sitting this way? So how lean you want this to be will mean how high you're elevating your sections. If you want it to be heavier, you want to elevate lower, right? So now that I finished the front, I'm going to cross check, make sure the balance of it is good. use the longest piece that we have right behind the ear as a guide to establish the graduation in the back. So I'm going to subsection this, hold this longest piece between my fingers, and go from this point and then move with each section until I reach the middle of the head. So I'm still creating graduation because my elevation is pretty low and the shape is going from long to slightly shorter in the middle because of the hairline. So next section, parallel to the previous. I'm gonna clip this out of the way. And on the front, I'm gonna subsection this to give me the guide for the elevation. So now I have a guide underneath that's going to tell me my cutting line, and now I'll have my guide coming from the top to tell me what my elevation needs to be. So my elevation is going to be a little bit higher. My fingers are going to be parallel to my cutting, my, my sectioning. So where in the front, I held them horizontally. Here I'm holding them diagonally, parallel to the sectioning here. Follow the guide underneath, and then going all the way to the middle of the head. Sometimes we could go just a little bit past the middle, especially if someone has longer hair here. But when you come back going the opposite direction, you're going to cross check the both sides in to make sure they are um, balanced. Next section, subdivide the front 
to make sure that you have the guide for your elevation. My finger angle is going to be diagonal once again. Here's my guide, nice and clear. And you always wanna make sure that you're matching up to the front. Now, if you accidentally drop your elevation in the back, your back is not going to match up to the front because the guide is coming from the front and your, your weight of the haircut is coming from the front, which means it's going to sit a little bit droopier in the back than it is in the front. Next section, parallel to the previous. Always working clean and neat. The cleaner of your work, the cleaner the end result is going to be, and the better the, better the haircut is going to grow out. Follow the guide underneath. Constantly move with your sections. Be, care, be careful not to stand in one spot. If you stand in one spot, you're gonna end up over-directing hair towards you, which is going to leave the back a little too long. I'm gonna raise her up just so that it's a little bit more comfortable for me. And with each section, I always subsection the front to make sure that I have the guide for my elevation. One last section left. I'm going to subdivide that in half. Move that out of the way. Still comb that. Same place as we've been combing previous sections. Now that I'm done with the side, I'm gonna cross check to make sure it looks good. And to cross check a diagonal section, I would take a diagonal section going the opposite direction. Come around. And then here's my cross check. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side.
Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it.